and it was a study of uh, 45 years old female with a history of severe excruciating epigastric pain for the last one day. Now in this uh, segment you are seeing that the outer surface of the river is smooth, the parenchymal ecogenesis is diffusely raised and uh, there is fluid surrounding the outer surface, smooth outer surface of the uh, liver, no, the parenchymal uh, texture is homogeneous, no focal layer is seen, and this is the right hemidiaphragm, no view seen above the diaphragm, no pleural refusion. Now this vessel is the portal vein, and this one is the common bile duct, and you can see that the common bile duct is appearing uh, to be dilated. This is, uh, we will talk about this. This is the IVC in this section. So this is a fatty level. Now, this is the gallbladder that is seen in total. Nothing, no wall of the gallbladder is seen. Only what we see is a dense, coarse, Echogenic area in the region of the gallbladder fossa that uh, measures approximately 5.0 by 2.7 centimeter with internal calcification. This is a calcification, this is a calcification, this is the gallbladder, and it's totally uh, echogenic and gives posterior shell. Now, we see that the intrahepatic bile ducts are dilated. These are all dilated intrahepatic bile ducts. This is the uh, hepatic vein, whereas these are the dilated hepatic, uh, intrahepatic bile ducts. All, you can see, these are the intrahepatic bile duct dilation. This shadow giving sharp, uh, this echogenic area giving sharp posterior shadow is the gallbladder surrounded by fluid and the fluid uh, it is surrounded by a cytic fluid. This is the transfer section of the gallbladder and you can see the fluid. This is the fluid, this is the fluid, this is the gallbladder and you can see the echogenicity and the tenseness of this area giving very sharp posterior shadow. The more dense, the more calcium deposits, the more the shadow, sharp shadow, black shadow you will see. This is the portal vein, this is the common bile duct. Common bile duct measures approximately 11.8 centimeters, 11.8 millimeter or 1.18 centimeter. More than seven is considered to be uh, dilated it with intact gallbladder in this age ring. So this is, uh, and the liver is seen below postural margin. It is, uh, here I can see, it's minimally enlarged. These are the dilated intrahepatic bile ducts. So this is the pathology in this region. Now you see this is the pancreas. With this, uh, one could have said okay, maybe uh, the patient is uh, having pancreatitis, but we can see that the duct is normal and the parenchyma of the pancreas is normal, its thickness is normal. This is the superior mesentery vein, splenic vein, the aorta. This is the region of the porta hepatis. And here you can see, I would like to show you all the three parts of this area. That is, 
the portal vein, the common bile duct, and this is the hepatic artery in transposition at the region of the porta hepatis. Now the CVD can be traced up to the uh, head of the pancreas. And there is an impression of an echogenic area giving shadow, posterior shadow in the common bile duct by which let us try to focus it a bit so give you a good view now this is head of the pancreas this is the common bile duct and we know it traverses the posterior inferior surface of the head of the pancreas now this is the common bile duct which is traversing the posterior inferior surface of the head of the pancreas and this is a tiny echogenic area seen in it. <coughs> anyway, so moving forward, this is the portal wing and this is the now this is an echogenic area. You see this is the portal wing, the common wild duct, the head of the pancreas. And here we see a tiny uh, 6.5 millimeter calculus at the uh, region of uh, the most distal part of the common bile the dilated common bile duct. See the, at the posterior and inferior surface of the pancreas. Now this is the pancreas. Uh, this is the pancreas. Head of the pancreas. So as the common bile duct traverses the posterior inferior surface of the head of the pancreas, we see a 6.5 millimeters echogenic area with shadowing uh, impacted at the most distal end of the common bile duct and the cause of uh, obstructive jaundice that we have just seen. Now what is the cause of the fluid seen around the liver in the Morrison's pouch in the hepatorenal angle as well as in the now this is the pelvis, this is the uterus in longitudinal section, here we are in transfer section and you will see a sac shaped structure. This is a sac shaped structure or a cystic structure measuring 20 by thin wall, 20 by 20 by 20 millimeters and uh, this is the fluid this is all fluid with echogenic areas over the next these are echogenic areas and this is all fluid this area is fluid this is all fluid there are echogenic areas within it and in the region of the right adenexa we see a cystic area with, that is thin wall with no posterior wall acoustic enhancement, uh, no internal calcification, no debris or septa within it. This one, varying 20 to 20. This is the uterus. In transfer section, the myometrium is normal. This is the endometrial canal, central clear. So, what is this structure? This is, in fact, uh, a, a gestational sac. With this area showing bleed, this is all bleed, this is bleed. Where is the left ovary? Here we are. Now this is the left ovary, this one. This is the left ovary and you can see the developing follicles within it. This is the follicle, this is the follicle, these are all follicles peripherally arranged follicles seen within it. So this is these are the follicles. All all follicles, peripherally arranged follicles. And you can see few in the pelvic cavity posterior to the uterus 
endometrial canal, fluid in the dependent region, peritoneal cavity. Now this is the uh, region of, this is the right paracolic gutter and here you see small amount of fluid as well and here you will see some fluid in the independent region, peritoneal cavity, this one. This is the urinary bladder, I'm pressing it and this is the sac you are seeing. Again, it persists, this, this cystic area persists, it does not move its uh, uh, position, it's not uh, uh, changing its shape when I'm giving the 90 degree sweep to the probe, it's internally clear and no posterior wall posterior enhancement is seen with fluid, this is the fluid, all fluid around this and posterior to the uterus with this being a right left ovary. This is the left ovary with follicular activity and uh, these being the iliac vessels, the landmark. Here we are seeing the, uh, we are going to see the kidney and the spleen, left kidney and spleen. The spleen is normal and the kidney is fine. Is there any fluid in the right paracolic gutter? And, uh, sorry, left paracolic gutter, as we did see some fluid in the uh, right paracolic gutter. So, no fluid seen presently in the left paracolic gutter. So, this is a complicated case having pathologies relating to the gallbladder the common bile duct, the dilated intrahepatic bile ducts, the gestational sac, ruptured ectopic pregnancy, and here you can see a calculus in the common bile duct. <coughs> this is our case of the day. This is the dilated common bile duct. This is the calcification in the small sister end. This is the pancreas, head of the pancreas. And I can show you the duct as well. This is the duct and the duct is not dilated. Thank you.